Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be looking at how to create a pencil sketch from a photograph. Now the first thing I'd like to do is I would like to thank Ken the Photo Man. Let's go ahead and go to the YouTube channel here. Ken the Photo Man's channel. I was just browsing through and saw this really great technique. He calls it the line art from photo with Photoshop. Now I did not want to do the same thing that he did so what I did was I took the technique that he used in Photoshop converted it to Photoshop Elements for everyone else and then you can go ahead and do this technique in Photoshop Elements to make a pencil sketch look from a photo. So let's go ahead and let's go back. I'll go ahead and put his link on there so you can get to his Photoshop channel. He looks like he's got some great things there. Let's go back to Photoshop Elements. Let's go ahead and take a look at this layer right here. You can see there's some wonderful pencil sketch lines that we have here. It looks really nice. I want to thank Timothy K. Hamilton. I am using his photo in the Creative Commons from Flickr. Downloaded this. Let's go ahead and turn this layer off. And you can see that we have kind of a photo studio shoot. You can use this pencil sketch really with everything, but the less the background is cluttered, the better this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer and show you the technique from the very beginning. Once you've uh, opened the photo, we have the background here and it's locked. In this particular technique, you don't have to unlock the, um, the layer here, the background layer. We're going to do a Command J or a Control J. And what that is going to do, of course, is duplicate our layer, the famous Control or Command J. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up to Enhance and then we're going to convert this to a black and white. Photoshop Elements has a quick convert to black and white. Now you'll notice on this one though, she's kind of dark. In order for this to work real well, we need her to look a little bit lighter. She's got a great tan here, but we want to make her look a little bit more ghostly. So I'm going to pick the newspaper effect and that's brightened her up quite a bit. Um, if we want to look at some of the other ones, now we don't want to go to the infrared effect. Um, you could try it, but on some people it doesn't look that good and then the eyes start looking a little bit weird. So I'm going to stick with the newspaper effect. Select OK when I'm done. And now we have a black and white. You can also desaturate this, but Photoshop Elements has this black and white feature and I really like this. Now, once we've done this, we need to duplicate this again now that it's black and white with the Command or Control J again. That just created another layer of the black and white we have here. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to invert this picture. Now, it's up here somewhere, but I'm going to give you the keyboard shortcut because it's a lot faster, and that is Command or Control I, and you can see that that inverts the picture. Everything that was black is now white, and everything that was white is now black. Then what we're going to do is we're going to change the blending mode here. And we're going to do a color dodge. Now, the reason it, took, uh, it looks white here is because we're doing a color dodge, and of course there's no colors in it, so of course it makes this white. Now the next thing we're going to do is go up to filter, and we're going to try this other right here, and we're going to go down to minimum. Like I said, I use this technique from uh, Ken the Photo Man over there, and I've just added a little bit to it. So we've got this wonderful looking pencil sketch now uh, with a radius of two. You can try a radius of one if you want to, but look at the nice hair. It looks like pencil sketching. Select OK. I'm going to show you another shortcut, and that is a Command or Control E. And what that does is it drops down and merges these layers together. So I'm going to do the Control E and that merges that down. So now that's a single layer. Now it still looks great right here and it's a wonderful pencil sketch but I like it a little bit darker especially around the edges. So I'm going to go to more my enhance here and I'm going to enhance my lighting and go to levels. And what I'm going to do is do you see right here where this graph goes right up? I'm going to take this white line and I'm going to line it up to right where the white ends which is right there, and I'm going to stop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this black level and I'm going to start sliding it to the right until I see what I like here. So I'm going to go keep doing it and you can see that it's starting to get some really nice edges right on there and it's starting to really really look like a pencil sketch. Now if you want to take the middle slider gray 
and you want to bring this over a little bit, you'll notice that the gray tones are now becoming more white tones. If I take it this way, you get more detail in the pencil sketch. So you can slide this around if you want. I'm going to leave it around right here to give some detail here. And when I'm happy with that, I select OK, and I'm finished. If I wanted to take this now, I could go over to File, and I could do Save As or Save for Web, save it out as a JPEG, and there we have it. The pencil sketch look from a photograph, and I do want to thank Ken the Photoshop Man. He did a great job on this one. This is Chucky for Digital Goulash. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Take care.